And then you've got this guy who's the complete opposite, who speaks so softly. Kind of mellow. So softly and... Um, Great bedside and it's manner for a dog. Un <laughs> it's un it's mind-boggling to me that he is coming in second place. And, you know, part of me, I wonder if part of it is that just as Herman Cain was in 2012, Ben Carson is sort of the Republican answer to President Obama. We have our, we have our brilliant African-American candidate, and he's the one we want to support. But I, why, I don't know. I, I have really a don't question know. for you, Mr. Scarborough. I, I, I mean, the outside, the, 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 the call for outsiders is pretty incredible here. The top three people in this poll have never held office once, Mike. Sixty-six percent of Iowa Republicans prefer someone outside of government to bring in a new approach. Sixty-six percent. That, that's amazing. So my dentist has a shot at becoming president. <laughs> in Iowa. But let, let me. Only twenty-three percent want someone with government experience in this poll in Iowa. Sixty-six percent want someone outside of government, and it's not just Iowa. A new national poll from Quinnipiac finds sixty-nine percent of Republicans disapprove of the way their party is handling Congress. Joe, I need your perspective def desperately. Desperately. I'm going to ask you a that, question. That, that you we could get that poll back up with place. the, uh, can we get those poll numbers back up? The Monmouth poll? Yeah, yeah, the Monmouth poll. All right, go ahead. Trump and Carson tied. Yeah. Trump, it's coming up, don't worry, folks. <laughs> There right. we go. Okay, Trump 23, Carson 23, Carly Fiorina at 10 percent, Ted Cruz 9 percent. That is 65 percent. Scott Walker so my, has collapsed. My question to you is 65 percent, and arguably you could say those four candidates don't represent the moderate, middle of the road, mainstream American no, political party. Keep those party. numbers up. I, I, 65 percent. I, I, what is I, going I, on with I, the Republican Party? That. I wouldn't say that. Keep those numbers up. Let's talk about Donald Trump first. Donald Trump actually hasn't shied away from single-payer uh, health care. He said everybody in America, I said it during the campaign, needs to have health care. Uh, he came out a couple of days ago for taxing hedge funders in a way that no other Republican has. It's making him very nervous. He's come out taking a pro-union stand on uh, trade. He's very skeptical of, of just unabashed uh, free trade. Uh, he's also tougher on immigration in a way that a lot of people in the AFL-CIO would, uh, would agree with. Ben Carson, I, I don't know enough about Ben Carson's ideology, to be honest with you, because I don't think it's about ideology. I don't know that Carly's about ideology. I know Ted Cruz is very ideological, but that, too, is just a re rejection of Washington. Um, so it's, it's not just Iowa that it's going on. Yeah. Either. It's going on everywhere. It's, it's, it's an earthquake, Mika. Okay.